So for many of you, Thermo Fisher is probably the biggest company you've never heard of. In fact, we've been in business for over 100 years, serving science. And what our customers do with our products is incredible. We make the analytical instruments that scientists use in the lab and the chemistry and the software that scientists in every field use to analyze chemistry and biology. And what they do is really groundbreaking, changing the way that we know how life works, synthetic biology that is producing new organisms to improve biofuels and fuel production. In fact, in Silicon Valley, there's the startup who's looking at changing the way that trees work to have them glow at night with the concept of having streets lit up by trees. Amazing. Um, but the thing that I'm really more passionate and interested in is how it's gonna improve health, and especially in the area of genetic disease and cancer. Groundbreaking things are getting discovered. To understand what this and why this needs compute, you have to understand a little bit about the biology. So every single person here has a body. In that body are 37 trillion cells. You are 37 trillion cells that are working together to make you, you. Now, in each one of those cells is an operating system that tells that cell how to work and what proteins to produce. That operating system is DNA. 3.2 billion base pairs of chemical instructions that operate the cell. And we now have the technologies that can read the sequence of DNA that tells us about what that cell is doing and how it should be working. To put that into context, if you were to take that sequence and write it out and put it into, remember those things we used to get, the phone book? No one has them anymore, but they were big, right? To take just one cell's DNA and to write that out would take a stack of phone books almost as tall as the Washington Monument. That's just one cell. So to store that data requires a massive amount of storage, and to analyze that data to understand what it's meaning, what it's doing, requires an enormous amount of compute. And that's where Amazon have come in. We are partnering with Amazon to give every scientist the storage and the compute to do this very important work. We are connecting our instruments and our software to the cloud, making the instruments using an Internet of Things architecture send the data to the cloud, and delivering the software, which was formerly running on a PC, believe it or not, to run in the cloud. We recognized that the PC architecture wasn't scaling for the needs of the scientists, that we needed to provide massive amounts of storage and compute, and we looked at trying to build our own cloud. Very quickly, we said, oh, no, this is not our core competency to run massive cloud infrastructure. And so that's why we turned to AWS. We were able to get the cloud infrastructure up and ready in a record amount of time at a much lower cost than we could do it ourselves. So science is now powered by the cloud, and we have over 1,000 organizations using the Thermo Fisher Cloud today, using these supercomputers in the cloud. Previously, this was technology that was only available to a handful of organizations. Now everyone has it. Well, what's this gonna do for us? Well, I think it's gonna do a lot. Think about your checkup. Today, when you go to get your checkup, what happens? The doctor pokes and prods you, open wide, looks in every hole in your body, takes your temperature, you stand on a scale, they measure your weight. They might even take your cholesterol. Much of that hasn't changed since the Middle Ages. We can do a lot better than this. This is very one-dimensional, and it can't really predict your health risks. And it's extremely one-dimensional and very reactive. But in the future, this could change tremendously. And that's what I'm very excited about. In the future, when you go to see the doctor, you may not see the doctor. You may just see the nurse who takes some blood. In just a milliliter of blood are over one billion cells they will analyze those cells and get your specific DNA sequence, which will be able to give fairly accurate, detect, be able to tell what types of disease risks you have based on your DNA. Also within that blood will be 
the fragments of any cancers that you may have that are growing that may be undetected in any other way. The cancers will be detected, and not only will they say, oh, you got cancer, which type of cancer you have will be detected. And not just cancers, viruses, bacteria, any kind of infection will have DNA in your blood, and those could all be detected. The data will get put through these instruments, collected, sent to the cloud, and analyzed. And then a treatment based on scientific method, not based on a person's opinion, will be determined. That treatment will also lead to much better outcomes. The pinpoint accuracy and the early detection are in themselves going to be just completely transformative. So I'm extremely optimistic. Within our lifetimes, we are going to see amazing breakthroughs happen that each one of us will be able to benefit from. We will be living much longer, much healthier lives. This technology, because it's based on the cloud and computers and scientific instruments, will be delivered universally at a much lower cost. So I'm extremely optimistic. I think that we're going to change the world. But we really got to thank the amazing instruments that are doing this work, the incredible scientists that are being able to analyze and detect and build these new technologies and therapies. And also, thanks to AWS for an amazing cloud that's making this possible.